Hey guys, welcome to my review of Mid South Gravel 2024. This is Dad Bod Cycling. Let's do it. This is my kit for the race, the custom Dad Bod kit from Heavy Pedal and Smiles. This was the Friday before the race. We were lucky to get good weather. I was actually able to do a shakeout ride and it's amazing. These are actual finishers from the running event crossing the finish line. Everyone was so supportive. There's music at all times. There's smiles at all times. <laughs> There's also naps at all times. This is Chris, the youngest old man. This was also my first time traveling with my bike. I used the Thule travel bag and this is my Diverge STR. My bike was definitely easier to put back together than it was to take apart to start this trip. This is my setup for this race. My Diverge STR with 42 tires was amazing. It was like riding a tank. I didn't feel uncomfortable or there was no terrain that I felt like I couldn't handle during this race. And it was just amazing. And my last pre-ride preparation is nutrition. I fueled with Morton for this race, which was completely amazing. One mistake I made with my last event was my fueling. I wouldn't make that mistake this time. So let's get into it. This is at the start line, bright and early, getting ready to go. My only thoughts at this moment was don't mess up. At my last event, I was so calm and ready to roll and everything went wrong. This time I definitely had some nerves in me. I just tried to breathe, tried to stay calm and let's get busy, let's do it. So getting into the actual event, I'm learning that this is literally the calm before the storm. This is when everyone just warms their legs up and waits for that first transition into gravel. And that's when things really get started. Speaking of that transition, boom. This is when what I call the dust bowl begins. So from the second I got to Oklahoma, my allergies turned up to 1000. So dealing with all this dust and the literal pollen in the air was tough. I had my face covered for most of the time, but it felt good to be back on gravel. This is only my second gravel event, so I'm still trying to get a feel for all these things like picking your line and when to break, when not to break. Do you get out of the saddle? So this is me just truly getting a feel for what I'm doing in such a huge crowd while still trying to deal with my allergies. So for me, it's moments like these where my mind starts to wander, where I'm in this big group, I'm finding my own groove, I'm figuring out how my body feels for the day. And it's just like, my mind goes to unbelievable. That's the word, unbelievable. I'm on this bike from Specialized. I'm sponsored by Specialized. You have no idea how many times I say this to myself in utter disbelief. I'm climbing on this bike and I feel like I'm one with it. I'm so comfortable. The future shock is amazing on both the front and the back. For those of you that don't know, I have two injured wrists. So even being able to handle all this bumping and grinding and descending and climbing without pain or with reduced pain because of the future shock is amazing to me. So even think that as a cyclist, I have sponsors. I'm here because of Black House Botanicals. I'm using my wrist because of Black House Botanicals, being able to manage pain in so many ways. And this is just such a surreal moment for me, being able to see these trails and look out as far as I can see and not see a single skyscraper. As a kid from New York City, it's amazing. Like, I'm here. I'm doing this. I'm in the middle of this huge pack of people that love cycling as much as I do. And we're all doing this for all our different reasons. It's an amazing feeling. It's something that I would recommend to everyone from every walks of life to at least try this once. And then we just come to this huge stop. I'm in such a groove. My mind is wandering. And I'm just like, why, why are we stopping? This is my first time doing this race, so I have no clue, but I hear yelling and screaming coming from ahead of me, so I'm curious now, and boom, here's my answer. This is why we're stopping. So you can either 
find your line and try to ride through this or walk through like some people are doing or you can walk up on the side as you can see i'm walking up on the side i have no interest in having muddy shoes or wet shoes for 70 more miles but it's definitely a fun experience as you can see everyone's laughing everyone's smiling <laughs> I guess this is that red clay they always talk about. Yep. All right. This is your first time? First time. Yeah, it's too glad it's not raining because this stuff comes in with peanut butter. Oh, I. It sticks to everything. I have no urge to find out. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I do want to point out is how nice everyone was at this event, but overall I think that's gravel in general. So it was amazing to meet all these friendly people on this ride. Hey, you have an Instagram? I do have an Instagram. I follow you. You do? Yeah. Well, thank you. It's nice to meet you. So I'm at mile 28. And I feel pretty good, not gonna lie. I've had my ups and downs so far, fatigue wise, but overall, I feel better than I thought I would. Um, my allergies aren't that bad. My, my fueling and nutrition is dialed in. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm not going fast. I'm, I'm keeping my pace, so slow and steady. Random thought about nutrition while on this ride. Don't think that the nutrition brand is too good for you because you're not a professional athlete. I think you should invest in your body and invest in what makes you perform to your optimal ability. So with that said, big shout out to Morton because I feel pretty good. I feel pretty dialed in with my nutrition right now. I know it's one of the bigger brands and you usually see like sponsored cyclists doing it, but it's amazing. Ah, this is where having to diverge, it's making the difference. And some chunky boy tires, because this is a hell of a terrain. Whew. Oh man, check this out. So I must admit, this is something I need to get better at. I'm not really used to doing single track, but my confidence lacks when I get on there. So I do want to get better at it. So I need to work on it. This is where big boy Watts come in handy. Whew. Officially at mile 45. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hurting. I think this is where training ends and the mental part of cycling starts. So my body is like, you're done, bro. You didn't ride this bike enough. You didn't do enough gravel practice. But my mind is like, you made it to 45 without really training like you should have. What's 55 more miles? Might as well finish. But this is beautiful, man. It's peaceful can't complain at all at mile 50 you can hear my friend Bree saying roll through roll through i'm struggling but i made it it's crazy i'm at mile 51 and of course 50 was the time to quit if i was gonna quit because i don't feel great right now but i don't feel horrible but hey we move on see how this goes as cyclists we all have those moments where it's like why am i doing this this is that moment for me. That's literally what just went through my head. Why am I doing this? Yeah, climb, I hear you, climb. Jesus. So I love gravel, but one thing I'm not gonna do is ride on sand. Not riding on sand. I hate sand. I hate sand on the beach. So you can only imagine how much I hate sand on the bike. Not happening. I'm staying right here. They can keep that. What the hell was this? Oh my god. Whew. 
This is a hell of a climb. Still going. 58 miles in, 4,000 feet climbing, almost there. Let's get it. Mile 65. Music is saving my life right now. Everything hurts. I don't know what to attribute this to, but everything hurts. I just looked at my GPS and it said 75 miles in. My first thought was 25 to go. That's light. That's my morning commute. My body is saying otherwise, but it's all mental, man. It's all in your head. 25 miles. That's light. That's all I'm going to keep telling myself. Holy shit. I'm worried I'm really gonna have to leave it before seeing So this was literally the home stretch and it felt like I was going into the dark forest on Harry Potter. Again, single track is not my thing. It's not something I'm used to, but it's something I know I need to get better at. So I really tackled this slow and steady. I took my time. And slow and steady was my motto throughout this entire race. But the longer I went, the more I got used to it, the less fearful I got on my brakes. But it's definitely something that you should get used to before going into this event. This is after mile 89 and you literally get through this and you're almost there. One thing I pride myself on is taking care of my body. So after the race, I went right into massage and my CBD rub from Black House Botanicals. It definitely made a difference with the amount of recovery time I needed after the race because I was a wreck. If you look at my whoop numbers, I had a 1% recovery. I slept for maybe two hours. I was shivering. I had the chills, which makes me think Maybe I didn't have allergies, or was my body just trying to tell me something, but I learned a great lesson. And that's my Mid-South experience. Would I go back again? Yes. I just wanna say that I'm thankful to my sponsors, Specialized, for getting me my bike, getting me there. I'm also thankful to Black House Botanical, so also getting me to Mid-South. Thanks, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please use the link in my description to buy something from Black House Botanicals using the code DADBOT. Thanks, guys.